What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you. Had a little break from Rome 2, but um, yes, yeah, so we have an awesome siege battle for you today. And as you can see here, we have a lot of Romans. It is three Roman armies up against uh, three Kush armies sent in by one of the subs. I thank you very much for sending it in. I will name and, well, not shame you, but I will name all the uh, participants at the end of the battle. Um... But yes, we've had a little bit of a break from Rome 2, and we've uh, focused on quite a lot of uh, artillery and stuff like that, but we are back now. And it seems all of a sudden, straight away, some desert cavalry have uh, decided to go in against some Triarii. Try and, and don't quite know what they were doing here. Uh, maybe trying to harass and slow down these um, siege towers so they could get their uh, main troops to the wall, because they haven't really got anything here. Like, I don't know if they were given a chance to deploy or not, but like all the Kush forces are... In here, or maybe they're not going to defend the outer walls. Who knows? But they're sending out even more desert cavalry to, uh, I guess, harass. I'm like I said, harass and slow down these siege towers. I would have possibly saved them. See if you could uh, sneak them out for some sneaky charges later against some archers or a general, because uh, Rome's not got a good general. Like legatus aren't, or general and bodyguard aren't great. They're not strong. But yes, it's kind of a real waste of cavalry if I can uh, get in there and have a look. Here we go. So yeah, these guys, uh, I mean, we don't see Kush often on the channel. Um, it's great to see them here, and three armies of them. That's even better, even even more uh, unprecedented. But so we'll have a quick look at some of the other units while we uh, while they fight it out. The uh, Obviously, the Romans bring a lot of uh, Evocati cohorts and legionnaires and Praetorian guards. It's the usual s sort of shenanigans. We won't really focus on what they have brought um, too much. Um, so we have some Shota warriors for Kush. These seem to be like the main infantry uh, mainline infantry for Kush. Um, they look pretty damn cool, I won't lie. I will not lie. Um, look at those swords. That curved sword, that is... I can't get enough of that. I need to play Kush more myself on Rome 2. I need to play more Rome 2, to be honest. I've had a bit a break of it myself. But yes, these armies seem to almost merge together a bit. Obviously, you can tell who the main, um, Kush player is because they have the yellow outline compared to the blue of their allies. And, um, but that's kind of it. That's the only one you can tell the difference. The rest, the Roman armies, kind of a uh, split off, but they're also kind of merged. They kind of—I'm not really sure if where their uh, armies start and begin. But we have some Royal Kushite, Kushite archers, which are a female unit. These guys, these guys, these girls, I should say, look very, very good. I mean, that one looks very male. Uh, or is it a mix? Maybe they, yeah, there's, I think there's guys and girls. There you go. Mix, mixed units now in this area. That's, that's good to see. But, um, Nubian Spearmen as well. Um, these guys, these people are, I'm just, easy to say these, after making that first mistake. These men look, uh, like they're going to be the first ones in. They're the light troops. And, yeah, they don't look like they're going to stand very long against the legions. A certain legionary is going first. Look, oh dear, I didn't even see this. The Desert Cavalry killed, like, lost some men when they were charging out to stakes. Oh dear. Yeah, and then they just kind of—I don't know if it was really a misclick. I don't know what the player was thinking, what the player was thinking when setting it. I was desert cavalry, but clearly there was a plan, but it wasn't quite executed. It certainly slowed down the uh, siege towers, and like they're setting up one unit of legionaries. This is not a good idea. It can overwhelm this quite quickly. And these, this is legionaries. This is like the cheapest of the, like the, I'd say uh, elite stuff because they are very heavy. These guys are very, 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 very uh, good still. But they're not, they're not excellent. But anyway, we've already got combat in here, it would seem. And it looks like we've got some, uh, well, some legionaries, some Evocati. Are these Evocati? I'm not really sure. Yeah, they are. They all seem to, mer they all look the same, the legionaries. S some, again, slave infantry. Are these just swordsmen? Or we have a mix, slave infantry and swordsmen. Couldn't think of a good name for these units. They just call them swordsmen. Interesting. <laughs> but yeah, so we have... Um, some low tier units going up against some uh, higher tier units. Very, very smart by the defenders. Um, basically, allow the archer towers to do their work. Soften these guys up. Also, throw in Javis. Very nice. Getting some easy kills there on these legionaries. Um, they're just sending in low. I mean, I don't. Not sending in loads of legionaries, but they're sending in one or two. And, like. I mean, this is actually probably enough. This is ample enough to send. You don't want to send in any more, but they're already blobbing up and it's making nice targets. So then this column formation isn't favouring them. They have just broken the slave infantry and they're running into the uh, legionaries and they're getting cut down. 
So they're going to need to send up more uh, uh, Kush if they want to hold this. Don't know if they're really wanting to hold this for very long. It does look like from where they're um, placing most of their units, they are wanting to defend these uh, higher tier areas more. But they have some elephants. African elephants. I mean, this is probably you do want to use them earlier rather than later. Crushing some uh, Shota warriors, but they'll get up. But yes, these African war elephants, I would have probably... I don't know. I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't have sent them out like the cavalry was sent out. Um, I'd certainly use them in support. I wouldn't want to commit them too early. You want to let the uh, enemy use up some ammo first on on your uh, men so they don't, can't use those fire arrows to scare off the elephants. But here we go. Have a some Hastati uh, landing on this blister. And they're going to just deal with this blister crew like they're uh, just piecemeal. It's just to brush them aside. I mean, if they can get around this blister. Come on, guys. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Poor guys. Uh, tra trained infantry going up against guys that operate a, a large wooden boy. Yeah, it's not going to end well. Oh, and he dies. At least he had a shield to try and defend himself. These guys didn't even get shields. Yeah, that's sad to see. But yes, we have Praetorians already landing uh, on the walls. This is unprecedented, to be honest. This, I mean, clearly the Romans are not messing around. They're wanting to send in their best and their brightest. They're sending in some show to warriors. Uh, the defense is sending in some show to warriors to hold these Praetorians back. Um, they do look goddamn awesome, though. I always use the Praetorian Guard because, hey, they're better. But, I mean, these, like, helmets for the Praetorians look goddamn awesome. I'm getting some lag here. That's not so good. And um, there are a lot of units on the map, so that is expected. But it's only a 3v3, so we'll see what happens. Just zoom out for a moment. This is the first time I am watching the replay, so I mean, um, I have no idea what's going to happen. But I mean, it does look like Kush is holding these guys pretty strong. Uh, like here, this is this good. This area here, these like two. I've played on this map before. This is Calmodulum, um, or however you pronounce it, Calmodulum. I don't know. It's it's Colchester. I know that. But um, yeah, you want to hold these avenues, these three, maybe four avenues here. You could even just defend here and just let them, and just here, and then just let them have free will of this area. Um, but it's, I find this one's quite easy to defend. I mean, obviously, you've got this huge second, like, second and third tier. And look, they're ready for it. They've got their, their balls of death, their fiery balls of death. If I can find them, there they are. Beautiful. Yeah, these guys, they'll do some damage if they activate them. If they get that far, the Romans. But, I mean, they are making a bit of steady progress. I mean, they've not done massive damage. All they've really done is kill some slaves off. I mean, they've actually lost a lot of units. Look at these Evocati. They're getting absolutely destroyed. They really need to send in some... Uh, they need to get their archers in. They need to get them out, like on these walls. They need to send in some actual, like, an actual solid wave. They're also bulking... Uh, bulking. They're blobbing up a lot here. This is, like... It's not too bad, but you don't need to send two or three units in. Like, two of these units would be fine. Like, to match theirs. Like, or just go around. Like, look. This is a perfectly good spot here. Go around these guys. Surround them. All you need to do is send a unit through and file. And surround these guys, and they'll break. It's going to take so much less time, and, like, less men will be lost. Because they're getting some good kills, these Royal Kushite Archers. Like, they're only 19 a unit. You know they're good if they're, they're a smaller unit. Them and the Heroes of Sparta, they're another one I can think of off the top of my head. They're a small unit, because they're good. Berserkers, another one. Don't mess with those small-sized units. To, feel, to be honest, I wouldn't want to mess with a large-sized legionary unit either. They're pretty damn nasty. But look at that. The sun's shining. Legionaries throwing their pillum or trying to throw their pillum. It's a good day. I hope you guys are loving good days or evenings whenever you're watching this. I hope life's treating you well. And there we go. Some good fiery balls of justice in the background. From the Roman onagers. Their weapons of war. Have been activated. There we go. Let's see what's going on elsewhere. Looks like the Romans are having a lot more uh, success over here. They're breaking quite a few units. They're breaking some, a lot of show to warriors. Um, yeah, they've got most of the units out. Eagle Cohort and Praetorians really doing the heavy lifting. Really sending in their early... Uh, their early they're strong units early. What I'm trying to see, that early unit strong. That wouldn't have made sense at all. But here we go. These Shota Warriors won't stand long. There's hardly any of them left. Astarte, I mean, very smart of the uh, Romans. I'm kind of saying they're the enemy. 
goddamn Rome trying to subjugate everyone. But I mean, uh, Romans sending in like their weaker units first, like to soak up some ammo and take the death. But then they did send in their like strongest units. It seems a bit bizarre, to be honest. No mid tier. Maybe this is no mid tier units in this army. Maybe this is an art. I don't know. Maybe this is one player's army. He's got some eagle cohort here, uh, making a push with a ram. So maybe the, I imagine there's more units over here. I mean, you can see loads of rams. There must be more units here, ready and waiting for the breach to open up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure that he must have, surely he has like this, well, I presume there's one army here, there's one army sort of here making a front assault, and there was one army over here that had to deal with the desert cav early on, so I presume that army over on the far left must have more stuff, otherwise, I mean, the balance of power is fairly balanced, I'd say ever so slightly possibly in Rome's favour. Which should make sense because they are the attackers. They should have more men. Um, and the defenders have the defences. But it's not its not massively in their favour. Rome's going to need to make some uh, big plays if it wants to really change that balance of power. But you can't always trust the balance of power, I guess. It does go off numbers sometimes and not off quality. And the Romans, they have a lot of quality. Lots of legionaries over here. This is what I mean. I don't know um, whether the army on the left, some of his units are over here making them more of a frontal push. But he needs more like mid tier units, like these legionaries. Just like, I mean, they're they're very good mid mid tier units, in my opinion. But um, yeah, he needs more stuff like this. You don't want to be sending in an eagle cohort so early. You want them for the final push on those like that final tier up there, dealing with the fiery boys of fiery balls of justice. But, I mean, look at are these a javi unit? I'm not even sure. Show to no, these are just show to warriors. They have obviously they have javelin capability. Every unit in Rome has. Javelin capability. But I mean, they're going to get a rack of a lot of kills. I mean, it looks like the archers are as well. Like I said, look at all this blobbing. There's three units of legionaries in There's no need for four units of legionaries. Wow. And then more going to get piled in. That more does not necessarily mean you're going to have more success. It's actually probably going to mean you're going to lose a lot more stuff. A uh, bit word of warning there for. Um, for you uh, Rome 2 players, I mean, they have pulled it off here, but they've lost a lot. Like, there are a lot of dead Romans down there, and a lot of them will have been to missile fire. Better to have, like, one or two units up against one or two units of theirs, so they don't necessarily risk firing. It's a small target for those archers to aim at, and they'll risk killing their own men. I mean, the archer tower's going to get a few kills, because that thing's just, like, got Legolas just shooting out of it. It's never going to miss, so you're gonna have, you will get some losses from archer fire. But that's fine, that's one or two. That Royal Kushite archers, they could rack up hundreds of kills. Like, given the chance with blobs. Like, these guys back here, they don't really just want to stand back here. I mean, they are actually, they are possibly capping this. They're not, actually. They're not even capping it. Wow. They definitely should have just stayed in reserve. I mean, now, I wish I could draw. But they need to just, like, follow my cursor. They just need to go round. They need to form, like, a column. We should get round and surround these guys. There's nothing round here. There's, I mean, there's these guys here. They show to warriors. These uh, army show to warriors are pulling back. They're already pulling back for the second layer. You just need to get round and kill these guys. You need to trap as much stuff as possible now. Limit their final defense. Like, if you look at the time, there's still loads of time left in this battle. So they did not plan in staying in this, like, first tier for very long. And it's a fair, fair enough decision. It's a large area to defend. It's easy... But uh, to start with, but as soon as one of these avenues is lost, like this one, it all falls to pieces. Like all these units now are threatened. They just need to go r get round, surround these guys. But they don't seem to be doing it. Rome seems to be quite passive, quite happy not to bother. All the elephants are in the battle. I didn't even see it. How did I miss this? The elephants have been activated. They look like they're quite bloodied up. So they've clearly been doing a lot of fighting. And they're chasing down some poor legionaries. These ever are just like, oh god, oh god, what do we get ourselves into? And here we go. Some poor, poor legionaries getting mown down by elephants. And they'll, uh, I mean, they're such small units, depleted, yeah, they'll break. And those elephants got some easy kills. They're exhausted, but they're still pretty fresh. I mean, they're a bit bloodied up, but they're pretty good. I mean, you want to kind of get them back now. I would if I was them. Like, you could still use them in that second line of defense. I think they maybe are trying to get back. They were just mowed down in their retreat. But, I mean, I wouldn't go back in there. There's so much Rome. Like, Rome just controls this whole area now. But the general, Kushite Royal Guard going out. Oh, no. Don't go through here. 
Please don't go through here. Oh, I can just see it going into disaster. Oh, well, luckily they are going through that way, so they are not going to... But don't come back in, because you'll definitely run through pikes, or stakes. But there's nothing out here. Well, I say that, there's some giant Roman bliss, and there's a lot of archers, actually. Oh, there are a lot of archers. And there's a general. Oh, but there's legionaries as well. Oh, no. This probably was a mistake for the Royal Kashite Guard. But we'll watch. Watch their mistake uh, unfold, possibly. Or I may be wrong, they may succeed. But look at that guy with his lion cape. Majestic. But we're gonna they're gonna mow down some Syrians, Syrian archers. Um, they're very good archers. They definitely need to be off the uh, off the battlefield. Do not want them uh, in there. They're gonna get lots of kills. They probably could match those Royal Kushite archers. But I mean, they've only lost mm, four guys. That's a, yeah, these guys are easy. they're gonna be hard to kill. But just leave them in the forest. Just harass. Lure out the general, there, so you outnumber him and outskill him probably. The legate is not great. Though he's got a lot of chevrons, so maybe. Maybe he is good. But lure him out. Or certainly just lure away some of these legionaries and Praetorian Guard. It's a big risk with your general, but might be worth it. Oh, the elephants are in here again. Oh, for God's sake. Just get these elephants out of here. They're harassing, yes, but there's like... I mean, actually, there's no archer support near them. Like, these legionaries, so, I mean... Maybe they could um, just like rack up a load of kills before they get routed by uh, fire arrows because that's the most efficient way to kill them. Like even pikes and spears aren't will eventually kill them, but you're gonna lose a lot of men first. God, these elephants covered in blood. Oh, there goes one. Maybe they, maybe it's not gonna take too much. They really need infantry support. Like that's why you, so keep them in a breach. I would like to have seen these guys like defend a breach with some infantry, some spears or swords. They would have racked up some kills. I'm sure there was a really, like a really good chance to use these guys, but I bet they're breaking now. Oh, they're losing decisively. Oh, they're going to go into the they're going to go into the square. Yeah, they're going to get killed. The Napoleonic Square of Triarii. That's what it is. And yeah, these guys just those elephants need to get out of there. Poor. It's sad to see them get abused like this. They did nothing wrong. But yeah, so I mean, they, they kind of got wasted, I won't lie. I kind of hope that they... And now they're sending out more soldiers, more church warriors, armoured ones this time. So even more more elite stuff going out. These guys have golden armour. You know these guys are good. They have golden armour. But they're just going to... I mean, yeah, fair enough. Mop up this tiny, like, armoured legionary unit. But I mean, is it worth it? You're, like, the arch tower over here is going to do some damage. I don't know. I would have just got them back. That church warrior unit could be kind of handy and just... Holding a choke point. I mean, Kush? I don't know. I'd say the balance of power's definitely gone more in favour of Rome ever so slightly. Kush is definitely running out of some stuff. I'd definitely get these armor show to warriors back. They're just kind of dying just standing there. They're just getting shot by uh, archers and arch tower, I think. So they need to get back. But just we need to remember that there's the uh, Royal Kushite uh, Royal Guard back here doing some damage. Did they attack? They did attack this giant ballista. They killed a few. Looks like they're going to go for another charge. For the Oh, okay, thank you for the tree being in the way. Um, yeah, probably for the general. Uh, it looks like there's two generals here. And some archers. Whether they'll... Uh... Oh, here we go. It's going to be a good charge, possibly. Yeah, good. I mean, good for the Kushite warriors. And um, the general kind of caught unawares. I mean, I think they'll overwhelm um, the Royal Kushite, I would say. It's heavy melee. Heavy. These are just heavy commands. So I'm never, not really sure. I guess they're like sort of melee themselves. But yeah, they really needed a, a infantry support, and the Romans can provide it. They only lost a couple more. In fairness, though, I don't know how many. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think they would have been, but yeah, you're now losing men unnecessarily. You just need to stay in there. You've uh, got to lay in your bed that you just. You've made now. This was an interesting decision. If they were going to do it, they had to send out all the generals because, and I presume all the generals were kind of like Royal Kushite Cavalry. I'm not actually sure what the other ones are. Uh, yeah, Royal Guard. Yeah, and then the other ones also Royal Guard. So, and they, those sixty, those units are sixty. They're pretty beefy by the seem, sounds of it. They could probably overwhelm all those generals if they had a three-way general fight. They would have overwhelmed all the Romans because I bet they're going to take a, these guys are going to take a lot with them. I don't know. They're losing decisively already. 
I'm not sure. I'm never really sure with a general and bodyguard, with like the Roman generals, how good they are. They sometimes, for me, they perform really well, and they can change a battle, and sometimes they just break so easily. But I usually go for the legatus, not the general and bodyguard, so maybe I should go for the general and bodyguard more often. He is a bit more, I think he's a bit better than the legatus. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be uh, a GG for that Kushite uh, Royal Guard. They're, they're getting mown down now. These African uh, Bastion Ballistas, though, they should have been... I don't know if they've got any ammo left, but they've still got a crew. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, oh no, he does. A one crew. Can he operate it? I don't think so. He's so depressed, though. Look at him. He's like, oh, no, all my friends are dead. They're all dead. But yes, there you go. The Royal Kushite Cavalry gone. I don't know if the general died or if he broke, but either way, it's not going to help the morale of, um, well, this this Kush army, which is not much left, to be fair. Um, it's got Kushite pikes, armor showed warriors, and some Kushite arch, some royal Kushite arches. There's got about three or four units left. Kind of, I don't know where, actually, no, he's got a few more. He's got a few more arches, but I don't know where his army went. It seemed to evaporate. Maybe he was in charge of the original, um, like the first wave of defending. Which is quite possible. And now it's down to his allies to really hold the second two layers, really. Which is quite possible. They've got a lot of pikes. They have some very elite swords. And also just some normal swords that are called swordsmen. I mean, there's piling a lot of stuff. There's no need. Actually, then possibly is. They probably should have defended at least to this like bit here. So they don't capture this arch tower, which is definitely going to happen now. Bit of a shame. Are these Romans breaking? Yeah, they are. Wow. Evercutty breaking. Oh, there are only there are quite a few, very few of them left. Triari not doing so well. Pikes already coming up. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna get focused down by archers. I would have waited. They're not needed yet. Pikes are always a last ditch thing to send in. They're what you put in when you're you're throwing everything at the wall. Oh, the signifiers died. Oh no. And his banners has disappeared. But you don't send to the pikes yet. Wait on them. So they're going to just get shot by archers. I mean, it's a pretty hard angle for these guys to be shot at from. I actually think they're trying to hit the guys on the wall. But just... Just what I usually do. I don't send pikes in first. Because the number one target. Them, general, and other archers. Usually number one target for being shot at by, uh, by enemy archers. But here we go. Some more Traari coming in here. Oh, that was a nice... Flip I saw there in the background, like some show to warrior just flipped uh, legionary over his back. That was really cool. Don't see that animation very often. But yeah, I don't know whether Rome will break through. They're going to need more than brute brute force. There, I think they should just set up their archers, um, pull back their infantry, set up their archers, just let them shoot at the uh, like if they're going to defend this choke point, let them like pay with blood. Just like shoot them a point blank range or like a decent range. Yes, they'll take damage from their uh, from their archers as well, but that's what archers are meant to be uh, do. They're supposed to soak up archer ammo, and inflict, uh, and then you're also inflicting damage on their infantry, which is not what infantry is supposed to be used for. They're not supposed to die to uh, arrows. They're supposed to be dying to swords. I mean, I'm trying to just see what. Okay, so this Roman player here has got a problem now because he's got to go all the way around here, and he's going to get attacked by archers the entire journey there. So he looks like he's was forming Test Judo, and he seems like he's given up on that. He's got a lot of Eagle Cohort. I think this guy went for quality rather than quantity. Like, he's got a lot, a lot of Eagle Cohort. And I'm in a lot. Like, this not, I don't know if this is part of his army. He's got arm and legionaries here, but more stuff breaking, more Triari breaking. At 70 uh, men left. That is, that, that's still kind of fresh. It's like just over half. I mean, they're just going below half now, but they're not they're not doing well with this uh, formation. Archers, uh, the Syrian archers really need to focus on these pikes. They've only lost two men, and they're now kind of in the open. They're very much easy to hit. Start shooting these guys. Make them pay. They've only got... Actually, they've only got quite a few Kushite pikes. They can afford to maybe lose some, but you also need to start attacking them on other fronts. I mean, they've got... What have they got here? Barricades. Oh, no, they've got stakes. Just send some infantry through. Infantry just don't get damaged by stakes. Send these, uh, oh no, these are obviously Kush. Oh, Kush is actually still out here. Okay. And he's capping this uh, arch tower back. 
An interesting decision. Oh, I know what he's going to do. They're going to cap this back. The general's going to go out, and they're going to try and do that whole maneuver again, aren't they? I don't know why. There's nothing out there now. Everything's inside the walls. But Rome really needs to attack on all fronts. I know there's only... Well, actually, there's three ways in. It's very bizarre why this, this player that was attacking here gave up. Because there's, like, this is the way to... There's two choke points here. There's one here, and there's one all the way around here. And you can get right up to the, like, to the capture point. Which is up here. And this is probably the easiest one to get to. There's no arch towers defending it. Um, I mean, it is one choke point. Again, but you need to attack from all ways. Like, they could, Kush is quite going to be quite happy just to attack, to defend this one spot here. Like, look how many Romans have already died. I mean, a lot of Kush play, uh, men as well, but that's meant to happen. But look how many Romans have died already. And they'll happily keep carrying on defending this one spot. Rome really needs to think what it's going to do now. Needs to maybe sit back, just think, what am I going to do? Because they've, they've not got an infinite amount of infantry. They've got a fair amount left, like here. And they've still got all these eagle cohort to arrive. And the band's power is probably back to even now. Because of that uh, because of that assault. Rome wasted about four or five good units of infantry. A shame. A shame. But, uh... And then, what are they sending out? What the a Kush just sent some archers to go and die? A bit bizarre, maybe they were out of ammo, but I mean, I would have kept them just as infantry for a last ditch. Perhaps. Or just send them in when the next wave of infantry comes up, so they're killing archers instead of killing your infantry. Very bizarre. But yeah, now Rome looks like he's just gonna... Well, they are gonna just uh, work this out. Maybe just... I mean, they look like they're getting ready for another assault. Looks like the Praetorian Guard are going up next. Already sending in the elites. More Triari as well getting ready. And more Praetorian Guard. Yeah, it looks like maybe a Triari and Praetorian Guard uh, team that's going to go in. Some Spec Ops, you could almost say. They are some of the most elite units. But yeah, this Arch Tower is now shooting again. It's just going to chip away. I knew what it's shooting at. Oh, just some Fleeing Pale Eric Slingers. God. But they're actually going to go over here. Maybe they're going to go around and deal with this choke point. I don't know. But, I mean, the Triari are now going to go and deal with either taking out this gate or... I should go, just go for the choke of warriors. Like, these arch towers just aren't worth taking at this point. You've got the city. You don't need to take every single po point. The, the gate's not going to contribute to you now. You've got everything inside the city. Don't need to get. You don't need to go outside the city again. But no, he's just gonna waste some men just going, just, just die taking that that gate. It's so so stupid, really. But I mean, that plays for Kush. It plays in Kush's hands. I mean, these looks like these eagle cohort are gonna slowly march as well. I'm gonna just fast forward. Seems like it's a oh, it seems like it's just a slow part of the battle now. Okay, maybe it's not. There's some fighting going on. Oh, he's gonna go and kill these archers. They were, I'm sure they were out of ammo as well. It's probably what they sent to go and do this suicide mission. And it was worth it for them. Because they probably killed, like, another few... Uh, it was a couple of Triari, but, I mean, it's just... It's just whittling them down, wearing them down. Rome is slowly being worn down. I mean, they're just getting shot freely by these arch towers here as well. And Kush can just stand and watch. They're, like Rome's not doing anything, any quick, like anything quick. It's not going to catch them out. They can see anything coming. Now is the time for brute force, and I'd say ever so slightly is possibly in favour of Kush. Is the balance of power, and they've lost a the general. You need to think about that. Kush has lost a general, and they've still got the balance of power in their favour ever so slightly. Look like they're going to risk another general at this point. That was going to say spears against this jet cavalry. Not a good idea, but. Oh, he's not giving the attack. No, thank God. Oh, no, he has. Oh, no. What are they doing? Kush! No, there's no need. Save your general. Oh, the Triari missed a great chance there to pin that, that cavalry unit you know, up against the wall. No. Oh, no. Don't go back in, Kush. You're just... You're playing with fate here. I mean, a good charge, but... You're going to lose that fight in the long run. They have the arch tower again, and these are spears. No, don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. You've already lost one general. You don't really need to lose another. This army probably has a decent amount of men left as well. Like, this general probably has a lot of men left. Yeah, he's only lost eight. 
it's not the end of the world, but that could have been a general in there, possibly. It killed only a couple of Triaris. It really wasn't worth it. You need to be looking for those... You need to be looking for those archers, is what I was going to say. I mean, there's not many left. They're all nicely tightly packed in the middle. It's well played by the Romans there. What are the Romans doing? They're just, like, letting their legionaries die as well. I mean, they're in Testuda formation now. But they're really stuck in a hard spot. Like, they can't leave the side of the walls... Um, out of fear of archers. But they can't really contribute to the battle either now. And it looks like the Triari have gone in against the Shota Warriors. And this is going to be them to die because the general now is going to just hammer an anvil. So that's really played into Kush's hands. So I mean, well, I mean, well played by Kush. If he, if he, that's what he does, I'm not sure. Oh no. What is it? Everyone's fixation with these goddamn gates. Just leave it. Like, you're losing. You're gonna lose men. Just go and hammer an anvil. You can take out this Triari unit, even if they are losing slightly already. Like, look, the auxiliary are gonna come and deal with them. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, that bit lag there for some reason. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a. Fight here with the general and some auxiliary. Yeah, this. I'd say the general will win this. Oh god, I say that. 38, wow. He's lost about 10 or so men just like standing here. Waiting. Oh, I only think he just charged into his stakes as well. Yeah, he's charging into. These stakes have been a real problem for the Kush. But yeah, he... I think the general might be dead. That general's gonna get chased down. And now, if they, uh, if the auxiliary cavalry play this right, no, carry on, carry on the charge. Then you could circle this unit, and then, oh, okay, maybe spears are coming up, pikes are coming up to save the day. I don't know whether the general's dead. I'm going to say he's not, because it's still, it's not saying he is. It's, they're still eager. Oh, general dead though for this army. Did not realize. Confirmed, but general dead. Oh, so one row. So, yes. Ah, so that's why Rome's been breaking so easy and why the balance of power has shifted back in favor of Kush. Because even when they're defending, you can still hold quite well without a general. And I hope for these Kushite archers are out of ammo, but this is well played by Kush, just leaving his men here to get shot. And this is why you need to make sure that your men aren't, when you're attacking, or like in key points like this, aren't on auto fire. You want them to. You want to aim. Deliberately at certain units like pikes as I mentioned generals Any elite swords or anything like that. I mean they do have a lot of elite swords like heavy uh, he They have heavy swords here with Shota warriors and they have armored Shota warriors Dotted around as well and pikes, but just go for those pikes. I mean they're breaking those Romans again Those Romans man, I, I don't know what the fixation is either with this gatehouse They didn't have to take all the gates that they to win the battle or something <laughs> So bizarre, why? I mean, they've now cleared up this spot here with pikes now defending it, so they can't flank round. So they've missed that chance to break this uh, armor show to warriors, which is still holding. But yeah, that's the, this tree are, and they're sending more eagle cohort. I mean, it's a weak unit. I don't know how how much they've uh, fought either. They may have just like died from archers, but I mean, yeah, there we go. Those tree are gone. But it really seems like Rome's just run out of ideas and what to do. And they're just going to have to send another frontal assault in. Look at this. Like I said, this is stuck in a hard spot. They're now just taking casualties freely. Like after having to walk away and back towards their own lines. Like this unit here is just stood here. I mean, this oh, it's this army's general is dead as well. So the one that brought all the Eagle Cohort, that's a, that's annoying because they would be very handy. Because Eagle Cohort can hold till well, basically the death. It looks like it's going to be the legionary's job now. They're going to have to go. I'm really sad seeing this because I really wanted Rome to at least challenge Kush and just like break through these lines. But it looks like Kush is going to do it. But I mean, imagine being a legionary. And just look up there. You look up there and you just see all these Kushite warriors. And you think, what are Kush doing in Colchester? Why are they not in the desert? And then you think, I've got to go through all that after. But really, you're wondering why Kush is not in the desert and in Colchester, in green sunny Colchester. A bizarre scenario, but one we do not question. Clearly Kush is just going for a world conquest and Roma is here to stop them. But it looks like they're getting ready. Te they're really a fan of Testudo, these, are, uh, these generals. 
just send them in. I mean, Test Shooter does do a lot of damage, but I mean, it makes you very vulnerable still to Archer. They're going to come down and fight. Kush doesn't even care. He's just going to come down and fight. They're like, well, if they're not going to... They're not going to come down and... Uh, they're not going to come up and fight. I'm going to go down and fight them. And there's some cool twirls there. And just like some... And they're running away already. Okay. <laughs> so maybe they weren't so sure. Maybe there's a misclick. Oof. Poor guy took one to the face there. They sent more... <sighs> Are they sent cavalry in against these Kush uh, these Shota warriors? Actually, they're losing slightly. Wow, they did break that. That's surprising, in fairness, from the auxiliary cap. I mean, they also have support from the arch tower again. No surprise. Now, I mean, for the love of Mars, send some eagle cohort this way, please. Like, they've got nothing here. I know they can definitely get stuff here, but just pressure another front. They've got Kushite slave uh, infantry they're sending out now. They're sending out trash to face you. How does that make you feel, Rome? Makes you feel pretty angry, but you're sending sla uh Oh, no. You're turning around. You've had those slaves... They're clearly scared of those slave warriors. And see, they can just then shunt another unit just over here. And then it can just go and stand there. And then it can go up if needs be. There's literally, like, hold... Well, they're not holding back armies. But they're doing a good job in just, like... Stopping any Romans coming around this way. Force them to go up for the frontal assault. Looking at the time that's left, they must... Rome's got to make an assault soon, surely. Oh. Don't know what happened there. The horn just seemed to cut out all of a sudden and then chime back in. Come on, Rome. Send your men in. Getting sick and tired of just watching this. Or Kush go out and attack. Take the offensive against Rome. He probably could. I think they've got lost at least one, maybe two generals. So maybe that Kushite attack was actually worth it out there by the general. Now, I didn't didn't realise that they maybe had killed a few generals. Even if they lost one. Uh, not that one. Didn't lose that one. They certainly lost this one. I'm not quite sure what that other general is. He may actually be routed. Yes. It does look like that's the case. It looks like there is only one actual army with a general left. So no wonder Rome's not faring so well. And it does look like they're actually going to march out. And I'm not surprised. Like, they do have the advantage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I apologize for that. I'm not really sure what is going on. This replay has been... Very, very strange, but there we go. Kush is coming out. Clearly the game's just like, oh my gosh, all of a sudden action's happening. And it's gonna lag a little bit. So I'm just gonna like keep the hood on for now. Just let it do its thing. But you can see the Romans are breaking. And Kush is just making a full on assault. And they've not actually got... They, do, they have a lot of infantry left, Rome. Come on, send up your infantry. Also, this is a great time now to catch them out. Like, in fairness, they, they're pikes here. They're making a smart move. They're defending their sides of pikes. They need to get this other pike unit here. Defend their flanks. And then they can just make a frontal assault. And, wow, that's just going to scare all these archers off. I'm going to show warriors. Yeah, they need to really send some stuff into Rome if it wants to try and have a chance. But you could... Possibly attack them. Certainly over here, there's a chance to overwhelm them. Um, overwhelm these units, and you could probably get in. This is the chance, but it's just where the Rome's men will hold. They lost so many generals. Are they going to send these pikes just straight to the front line? But they do have these guys defending the show warriors defending the flank. Should, should be okay. But yeah, here we go. Some nice cinematics. And it looks like... Uh, Kush was probably going to take this day, I think. Oh, yes, a nice encirclement. I didn't see that. I saw Javis and was like, are these friendly fire? But no, there's some swordsmen coming in the rear here, surrounding these uh, legionaries. And this is a huge, this was like four or five units of legionaries um, of various types in here that have just been encircled and killed off slowly. So that's huge. That was a huge portion of uh, Rome's like available infantry left. They're kind of just down to a few elite units like Triari. Praetorian Guard, which they're going to need to do some uh, he real heavy lifting if they want to chance this. But if you look at the balance of power, it's it's not impossible for Rome. 
I mean, that shows the power, the power and the strength of Rome, but it's going to be tough. Um, they really need to, I mean, they need to somehow just kill off a few of the Kushites, or the Kush generals as well. But I mean, these poor legionaries, they're, uh, they're in for a rough time now. They're not getting out of this. The desert hordes have arrived. They've, they're taking back their British home. For some reason, they're here. Much confusion. That's probably why the Romans are losing. They're just so confused as to why the Kush armies are here. They're like, I'm still not quite sure, Jeff, why um, we're fighting the Kush in Britain. And of all places, Colchester. I mean, at least it's the south of Britain, I guess. Makes it slightly more believable. It's nearest point to Africa. <laughs> Still doesn't really make sense. But, I mean, this is really good to see. I mean, these guys just need to pull back ever so slightly. But you're throwing jabbies at the pikes. You just If the pikes want to stand there, they're going to have to take this some... They're going to have to take some uh, jabbies. And that's good to see. But these triari are just wasting themselves going here. They really need to just pull back. Good to see. This is Roman playing smart. The Roman playing smart here now. Needed to do this a bit earlier on. Because Kush has been quite happy for this entire battle just to stand in choke points. And Rome's been more than happy to just comply and send men in. When really they should be doing this. Use every javi, every arrow possible. Just to kill some Kush warriors off. But also good to see that they're going to try and flank. I mean, hopefully. I mean, this is what I hope they're trying to do. I mean, it's going to be a bit too late because they've just all these Romans died. But this is just becoming a new front, it would seem. Because they're going to get just... Those shuttle warriors are just stopping any chance of a flankment going on there. And flankment, I just made a word there. But I mean, these are. This Kushite Jet Royal Guard could probably route this Eagle Cohort. It could even probably route this Auxiliary Cavalry if it went round. Certainly with the set. Oh no, this is a Shota Warrior. I thought that was the other one. Um, yeah, it could definitely do it with both. It's not even. Don't even need to send more shuttle warriors in here. Actually, maybe you do. They're gonna definitely try and sneak around. Which wouldn't be a bad move, but I mean, Kush has so many spare troops now, it doesn't even matter. And it's only a matter of time. I mean, now these stakes are actually stopping the defenders, not helping them. Because the general can't get around and do some nice hammer and anvil. Really, I mean, and... <laughs> oh God. What are these Syrian archers doing? They're just standing here. So bizarre, have they just given up? And I mean, these slave interview just going to go in and mop them up. But now the general's... Well, he's dead in fairness. The general is dead. So this unit's just redundant anyway. But he's trapped because he can't go back through the pikes now. He's going to stand and fight. And don't do the same with the auxiliary cavalry. Please don't. I mean, you have to because there's nothing left. But it now leaves prime spot for these. This general just sweep round. This general needs to sweep round. There's could definitely break this evil cohort. Here he goes. Here he goes. Perfect. Well played by Kush. I mean, it's, it was a matter of time because Rome's just outnumbered in men now. But here we go. A nice brutal charge. Some pillum, though. They're going to feel some pillum. And that was a good charge. The Eagle cohort mown down, though. Sad to see such an elite unit. Where is it? I don't even think they have the eagle. Where is the eagle? You've lost the eagle. How dare you. Yeah, it does look like it. They're going to throw some more pillum as they run away. And that, that Kushite cavalry didn't like that. And it's going to come for another charge. Look to the standard bearer, he's dead. He died somewhere. God knows when. You lost your eagle. You couldn't, how dare you, in fairness. I mean, yeah, there you go, the Romans are broken. And that's probably going to be the battle, guys, because there's a huge chain route. And yeah, it seems like Rome couldn't even manage to get to this stage. I was a bit disappointing. But it's a good battle. Kush played very, very well there. Um, and that just shows, uh, that's a perfect example of how to defend a siege, basically. Um, a costly victory. I'm not so sure about that. I'd say it's certainly a close victory. But we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. I mean, actually, I say that. They did lose a lot of men. Um, but, I mean, so this is sent in by Gandalf. So thank you very much uh, for sending it in. It was a very, very good defense um, by Kush. And overwhelming a Roman army. I mean, they... Yeah, they were outnumbered. Just about, yeah. So, I mean... Gandalf getting some good kills with his armored show of warriors, um, 152, very, very good. He was the one that sent out his Kushite Royal Guard on that mad mission. Actually, I thought initially it wasn't 
a good idea. But if you did get a couple of kills, of those gen, a uh, couple of general kills, and that actually probably changed the face of the battle. Um, and Rome really wasn't sure what to do after that. Uh, 123 kills and 118 with his Royal Kushite archers. These guys and uh, well, mixed units. These guys and girls were very, very good. And um, yeah, well, they did very, very well. We'll look at um, Horpet. Getting 358 kills with his African war elephants. Um, he possibly could have got more if they were supported with infantry. Who knows? But they did very well, actually. I'm surprised. I didn't see the, them initially charge in, so they may have done really well um, initially. He did quite well with his Gushite Pikes, getting 103. And uh, Shota Warriors getting like 134 is not bad either. And 163 with his Armored Shota Warriors. Berry with his uh, Armored Shota Warriors getting 224 kills, 259. Even better, he did very well with his Kushite archers as well, um, getting lots and lots of kills, um, and his Shota Warriors doing very well as well. These Shota Warriors and Armored Shota Warriors seem to be the standard units that you bring as Kush, um, along with some slaves, obviously. You've got to bring some slaves. Um, we'll look at Zelum, I'm going to just say. I'm sorry to butcher your name. Heavy Onager getting zero kills. I don't know if they even made any breaches with it, so a bit of a shame what happened there. So... I'm not really sure what the purpose of it was, to be honest. I might as well just brought another legion unit. Um, and his, speaking of his legionaries, they're getting 102 kills, the best. 105 for his eagle cohort, actually. 133. Oh, this is the guy that brought lots of eagle cohort and kind of got stuck against the wall for a while. Um, yeah, unfortunate about that, really. But he seemed to do okay with his, like, his Praetorians. Um, but let's have a look at um, FPS. Um, uh, Meister. And he also brought... Oh, no, he brought a lot of Evokai. Yeah, they were also... They were Eagle. Yeah, Evokai and uh, Eagle Cohort are very similar like looking uh, images. Um, 135 for his Evo Evokai is probably the best. Actually, 154 is ever so slightly tipped it. His Archers and Triari not doing great either. It's a bit of a shame to see. And a final... Um, final Rome player something cool. Um... Getting some okay kills with Ballista, I'm pres I would have just made breaches with these Ballista and Onager. I wouldn't have really used them for anything else. Bring a lot of legionaries. I think this was a smart move with legionaries, or certainly armored legionaries would be good. Praetorian Guard, he brought, they did okay, getting 100 kills each. His legionaries getting 110. Um, and his Triari didn't do so well. His Triari clearly weren't worth bringing. Certainly since you're attacking, so many spears, not really necessary. Um, but anyway, there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this Rome 2 siege battle, um, I want to see more, then please leave like and subscribe. And if you want to send in some uh, of your own Ro Rome 2 replays, um, do check out the Discord. I'll leave the link in the description, and you can send your replays there. I'll have a look at them. This is where I um, got this one um, from the Discord. Um, so yeah, go and check out the Discord if you want to um, send in your replays, or organize some battles to then make replays. That is also um, possible. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.